Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Unplug TV Australia. We are doing another test in the test lander. In the test lander. <laughs> um, there was a question asking if the car need to wait until the road is completely free. Um, I think there's a car coming towards us. Yeah, we've got this long stretch of straight road ahead now. Really, really long. Now, maybe two kilometers, but that's enough. That's fine. Okay, I think we are good. The question was, is autopilot working if you drive on the wrong side of the road? Well, it's, an, it's a 100 kilometer road here. But the map data shows only 50, of course. So I let the car drive in autopilot now. It's engaged. It drives nicely with 50 and I cannot override it because, yeah, the car doesn't know. There's not enough data for this road here. Uh, is this car coming? No, it's not. Okay. So there are two cars coming. I hope this Chinese sucker sucks. Looks all right. So there's no car behind me. See, very easy to drive for the car, of course. Okay, what I will do now is drive on the wrong side of the road and the car would keep driving. We're driving on the right side of the road now, like in Europe and the US, Canada, North America, and the car would just keep doing it. It doesn't care if you drive left or right, not at all. Okay, there's a car coming. We need to get over again. Here again, going on the right side. Turning on autopilot. It will slow down to 50 kilometers. That's what the map data shows the car, but it drives on the right hand side of the road. No problem at all. It would keep doing it, it doesn't matter. The car doesn't know if this is a single lane road or if it's a yeah with two lanes so one is coming towards you or if it's on a highway both lanes going to the right to the same direction you know it doesn't really care about that it's two lanes and it can drive in either lane so pretty obvious it can do this but sometimes the car does it itself when it drives in autopilot, it changes from the left side, where we usually drive here in Australia, to the right side and stays there. And this is not so good anymore, because this is clearly the wrong side of the road here. <laughs> and I don't know if this is because the software has been translated from left hand driven to right hand driven. so. Yeah, well, usually when they develop the software, then they need to adapt everything to the UK, Australia, Asia, wherever they will, they want to sell their cars. Everything needs to be, well, the other way around, you know? You've got your menu on this side of the screen, not on the other one. And all the buttons here, they are exactly the opposite as in the other markets. And I don't know if they have missed something somewhere, or if this is on purpose, or if this is just how the software works. I'm not 100% sure why this is the case. Okay, let me show you the other two occasions when it does it itself. See here on the highway, for example, it doesn't really make a difference for the car if it drives in this lane or in the other lane on the right. I think this guy is losing some of this bloody air condition hoses very soon there. Doesn't matter. I'm turning off the highway anyway here. So we have now reached one of the areas where the car automatically drives from the left side to the right side and stays on the right. Because as we have just seen, it doesn't really make a difference for the car where it drives on which side. But it changes the lane. You can see the sign there, it's on my way to the UQ Charger, world famous UQ Charger. We are going, and here we go, a 60 here, 
I'm engaging autopilot and I'm driving really slowly here. I'm putting it down to a 35 only. I leave the car really slowly because I don't know if there are cars coming. I cannot really look around the corner and see if there's another car coming. There is one coming there, but that's all right. It looks good. There's no other car coming at the moment. So the car drives in pure autopilot here and you can see over the bridge the lane marking is missing and the car goes to the right hand side see that and stays here it's just a car coming it's just staying on the right hand line all the time it doesn't really matter where it drives that's insane right <laughs> it changes lanes because the lane marking is missing there yeah it drives fine again here as long as it can read the lane marking it's fine but obviously it loses track in this certain position there and sways to the right all right we are now back close to home and I want to show you the second area where the car drifts to the right hand side of the road and stays there just need to make sure I'm engaging autopilot relatively soon here because it's only available see the line marking is missing again just slowing down the car so we can control it better oh there's a car coming so it goes to the right hand line and stays on the right hand side oh well, there's a car coming unfortunately let's uh, just try this again Okay, let's just turn around here and try this again. We have to be quick with the autopilot engaging. It's only for available for a short moment here on this, this um, area. So it goes to the right hand side. It wants me to apply control, 35 kilometers an hour, but it stays on the right hand side. Even there's no lane marking. It should go back to the other side again, right? It should go back. It stays here all the time. I'm just disengaging autopilot. I can't look around the corner here enough but it would keep driving on the right hand side all right guys so yeah so far this demonstration just preparing the car for tomorrow's charge uh hang on yeah so far this demonstration of having the car driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm sure this will work the other way around as well. So if you're in Europe or in, in North America, you can drive on the left-hand side of the road in autopilot for a long time, potentially, a long time. And it also shows again how much work there still needs to be done to have this car in full self-driving mode, you know. It's not that I don't believe in full self-driving, but it's quite a bit away. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia, signing off. You stay charged and safe, and we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.